it's Tina and I am back with a quick swatch and review video for the Kat Von D Mavita Loca Remix Palette. This is her new colorful palette for the holidays. So let's go ahead and jump into the swatches and then we'll jump into the review. So let's go ahead and take a look at the overall palette which has the colorful shades on the outside and then in the center we have our neutrals. Starting with the shade Skulls, followed by Noble, Molder, Vox. Strutter, Lyric, and Black Metal. Then for the colorful shades, we'll start out with Love, or it could be Louvre, Swoon, Destroyer, Rewind, Harpsichord, Analog, Fran, Legend, Vinyl, Misfit, Lemmy, Hyper Ballad, Synth, Dark Wave, Echo, Muse, and Anthem. Starting out with the shade Skulls, which is described as an iridescent pearl, it is a shimmery, very pale, icy champagne shade. Then we have the shade Noble, which is described as a nude. It is a matte, caramelly beige shade. It is great for blending in the crease, especially on my complexion. Then we have the shade Molder, which is described as a butter yellow. This one is a matte yellowed ivory shade. A little light on pigmentation, but you can definitely build it up. Then you have the shade Vox, which is described as a chocolate brown, and it is a deep matte espresso brown. It's a great alternative to black. You can use it to deepen up a look. Then you have the shade Strutter, which is described as a taupe, and it is a matte beige shade with a bit of a gray undertone, so it's more of a neutral beige shade. And then you have the shade Lyric, which is a little bit more of a yellow champagne than Skulls, and it has a lower shine effect than Skulls. It is a shimmer, but it is not as frosty as the shade Skulls. And then last, we have the shade Black Metal, which is just a matte black shade. And this one is a sooty black. It does need some building up to get full pigmentation, but that can work for a deeper smoky look when you don't want to go intense all at once. You can build up the intensity as you go along. So here are all the neutral shades from the center of the palette. Overall, they have nice pigmentation, except for the shade Lyric, which is a little bit more sheer. But I can see how that is useful versus the shade Skull. So if you wanted to go for a more sheer coverage, you have the option of using Lyric versus Skulls. Now going on to the colorful shades, we'll start out with the shade Fran, which is described as a deep mustard yellow. It is a matte, um, kind of toned down mustard yellow shade. It's not a bright sunshine yellow. This one takes a little bit of building up to get full pigmentation. But again, it's a more muted yellow tone. So it actually works out that it's not intense in pigmentation. Then we have the shade Legend, which is described as a golden yellow. This one is a shimmery, buttery, light golden shade. It's actually a really beautiful shade and it's not too intense so you can definitely use it for a highlight or all over the lid. Then we have the shade Vinyl which is described as a neon green and this one took some building up to get the color payoff but it wasn't as bad as I expected it to be being a neon shade which usually are troublesome. It actually build, built up pretty well. And then we have the shade Misfit which is described as a Kelly green. Again this is a matte Kelly green shade. It has great pigmentation, a little bit of fine shimmer in it, but not enough to really make it a shimmer shade. It's a matte with shimmer. And then last up, we have the shade Lemmy, which is described as a grass green. This one is kind of a metallic, frosty, forest green shade. It's beautiful for all over green looks. It's a great shade. And here are those yellow and green shades from the palette. Again, all of them have pretty good pigmentation, except vinyl, which needs a little bit of building up to get that full pigmentation. Moving on to the blues, we have the first shade Hyper Ballad, which is described as a sea blue. And this one is a matte teal shade. I wouldn't call it a sea blue at all, but I can see if you were thinking green, blue, it's kind of a greeny blue <laughs> teal shade. Then we have the shade Synth, which is described as an electric blue. And this one is definitely an electric blue. It's a matte 
bright, intense, in-your-face blue. Again, it has those little micro shimmer in it, but it's still overall a matte shade. Then we have the shade Dark Wave, which is described as a deep navy. And this one is not really a deep navy on my skin tone. It comes off more of a dusty blue shade, a marine blue shade. Again, with that micro fine shimmer. And then we have the shade Echo, which is described as a purple glitter. And that it is. This one has chunkier glitter in it, so it definitely shows up. And it is a matte blue toned purple shade with that silver glitter throughout it. Overall, I'm not in love with these shades. They do have nice pigmentation, but they do take some work to build them up. So just be mindful of that. The colors, though, are really bright and vivid. Then we're moving on to the purpley shades. I have the shade Muse, which is described as a lilac purple. I was not expecting this to have as good a pigmentation as it does. It's a really beautiful, light, slightly shimmery lavender shade or a lilac shade. Then we have the shade Anthem, which is described as a purple. And this one is more of a magenta red based purple shade. Good pigmentation again. And then we have the shade Love which is described as a shimmery rose. And this one is a frosty, very pale pink shade. It's really beautiful. And then we have the shade Swoon, which is described as a fuchsia. And this one is a matte fuchsia pink shade. It's really beautiful. It has great pigmentation again, something I wasn't expecting from such a pink shade. Pink shades don't usually come off this great. And then we have the shade Destroyer, which is described as a bright strawberry. And that is so true. It is a matte reddened pink shade it's more on the red side than pink so i can definitely see the strawberry coming out and then we have the shade rewind which is described as an aubergine and this one is kind of a cranberry shade it has some shimmer to it it's not highly frosted but it does have a sheen and again a great color has good pigmentation great color for the fall and here we have the shade harpsichord which is described as a metallic bronze and it is Kind of a coppery bronze shade, has shimmer to it again, but not a highly frosted shade. And then last up, we have the shade Analog, which is described as a burnt orange. And this one is a little bit brighter than what I would call a burnt orange. I think it's more of a tangerine orange shade. It is matte, and it's a beautiful orange shade. And overall, all these shades have great pigmentation, and for pink, pinky kinds of shades, that actually really surprised me. They worked out really well. They have great color payoff and they blend really nicely on the skin. So now that you've seen the swatches, let's go ahead and jump into the review. The Kat Von D Mavita Loca Remix Palette retails for $59 and it is available exclusively on Sephora.com and Sephora stores. And it contains 24 eyeshadows and each of these eyeshadows are 0.04 ounces. So you're getting almost a full size small eyeshadow, which is 0.05 ounces. So you're getting pretty large eyeshadows and you're getting 24 shades here, which is pretty significant for large palettes this palette season or holiday season when they have large palettes it's usually you get 20 eyeshadows here you're getting 24 the packaging it comes in a plastic sleeve so but this is just throwaway and then the actual palette this is the actual palette and packaging it is pretty large and bulky and heavy but you get 24 eyeshadows so hmm, give or take oh the artwork let's talk about it it is beautiful artwork. The front of it has this lady that um, Kat Von D sketched and then it has Mavita Loca. And the Mavita Loca is in the same kind of design that she had on the previous palette. Her name on the front and then on the back you have the eyeshadow layout, the color names. And this is a nice palette packaging if you're, if you're a collector. But if you are like me and you actually want to use something, then it's not so much because the eyeshadows are in this pull out drawer. So you have to pull out this little divot, you pull out the actual eyeshadows and then they're in this big um, sleeve and this is just like this, yeah. And you have to use the eyeshadows like this. There's no actual palette that covers it or anything. This is what you get. And they're laid out in a pretty design, it's a, it's reminiscent of a record that was what she was going for, those vinyl records back in the day. If you're too young to remember, I'm sorry, but I had records, my grand, my aunt had records, so I know my aunt had a record player, so I was all over it. And so that's what it's reminiscent of. I think it's, I hate the packaging for usability, for practicality reasons, 
But if you're a collector and you're just going for the collective purposes, then fine, but I don't like it at all. And then you also get this little sleeve here with three eyeshadow looks telling you how to use the different colors, which can come in handy for different people if you really don't know or you really don't know what to do with the palette. They're actually really nice, fun looks too, so that's nice. I just really don't like the packaging at all. I think it's inconvenient. I think it I just think it sucks and it's bulky. But that aside, the layout has a, a rainbow. So it ranges from inside the middle you have neutral shades. So you have blending shades, you have a deep matte black, a deep matte brown, you have some highlight shades. Two of them are satiny shimmer and then two of them are matte. So this inner part is great for neutral looks for blending out your shades it's like they tie in well with the colorful shades because now you're getting blending shades and actual smoky shades to blend out and highlight shades so this center part genius and then the outer part is designed or laid out in a rainbow effect so it goes oranges greens yellows blues purples pinks reds it's just Oh, it's so pretty. This is what drew me in because typically you don't see this for Holiday Palace. Holiday Palace, you have glimmer and glitz and glitter and jewel tones and smoky shades. But this is like almost like summer colors for the holidays. So, hello, I was all over. You know I love my brights. So, I went ahead and grabbed it and I think this palette, if you're a color lover, if you love bright eyeshadows, this is for you. The design of the palette overall sucks and I hate it, but I really love the actual eyeshadows. And you get a range of eyeshadows. You get anything you can think of right here to choose from, plus you get a neutral palette to, to kind of accent it. So I think it's great. The colors actually have great pigmentation. All of them had great color payoff. They build up really nicely, they blend out really nicely, and they aren't patchy or powdery. Being matte eyeshadows and being matte bright eyeshadows, you would think they would be powdery or patchy and you need to do all kinds of things to get them to work. These actually blend extremely nicely. They blend out nicely, they build up nicely. You can, you're still gonna need an eyeshadow base under it, or a primer I should say and if you use a colored base it's gonna pop even more but you don't need it even if you think you need to pack on a white base it's not gonna do anything significant actually I think the best primer for this would be the Kat Von D skin where is it she has an eyeshadow primer it's called the high voltage eye primer and it's in the shade skin this actually comes out a little bit lighter than my skin tone so it's like a very pale yellow shade that actually works really well with these eyeshadows but any primer that you have would work but if you want a real bold intense color get her primer amazing I love these eyeshadows I think they're perfect I think they're brilliant I think they're really well done and I applaud I applaud Kat Von D for this except for the packaging yeah because this this doesn't work for me at all but overall I think this is a great one for color color lovers I think it is a great addition to your collection I think it's a great palette to have if you just want a colorful eyeshadow palette to balance out your neutral shades so definitely a thumbs up from me so if you want to check this one out I definitely highly recommend this one it's a great value for money too and you're getting a lot of eyeshadow in this so please if you could just do something about the packaging but I guess I guess I get the artistic idea behind it but no so hopefully this video was helpful with the swatches in deciding if you are going to check this out for yourself if you're a color lover i definitely say go check this out even if you just go in store and swatch it but i will leave links below where you can find this as well as links to my instagram twitter and facebook page where you can follow me along and if you aren't already subscribed hit the subscribe button which is right here as well and yeah, you can see other videos like this because it is a swatch a thon and swatch a thon and we are going through these palettes one by one. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit thumbs up, favorite, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I will talk to you. Bye.